All right, Space Explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go. And we've come back to our mission here for qualification match number three. A replay here. We have a pair of robots on both sides of the field making their way across that half line. But will be 41-22, Austin Obot scoring on the near side cargo chip. 11.55, Cyborgs trying to get themselves correctly aligned with their hatch panel and they're able to lift it up with their mechanism safely there. The far side of the field, Cyber Dragon soaring around on the red side of the field, trying to stymie the offensive efforts of the Red Alliance. The team's 1600 Robo Kings and Queens able to bypass their efforts as they'll try to load up a piece of cargo into their ship, but we will bumble around back onto the, onto the field. Team 640 now, Edison Robotics, also getting into the defensive game, giving a few cross checks against the Austinic Obots, but Obots able to load up the middle cargo bay on the front side. Cyborgs now working on some cargo as they're able to load up four pieces of cargo into their ship, but it looks like they've doubled up on some of those bays. Team 1600, Robo Kings and Queens with 46 seconds to go, trying to get themselves onto level two. They'll turn them out and looks like they might have another go at it as Edison Robotics storms right back to the Red Alliance side of the field. 30 seconds left on the clock. Blue Alliance in the lead by 7, 29 to 22. 41-22, Austin Obots perhaps looking to score in these last moments. Six forty, maneuvering their way back onto their home side. Austin Obot scoring one last piece of cargo. That's three, two, one, and time. In qualification match number three, we'll have your official results in just a moment. It says Blue Alliance wins that match by a score of 32 to 28. We are now breaking for lunch. We will start up qualification match number 21 at 115. So, Team 75.